should Manchester City go and rescue Leroy Sané from Bayern Munich? I think this is a conversation we need to have, or maybe not need to have, but I'd like to have, because I'm a bit of a Leroy Sané stan. I, I, I love Leroy, I miss Leroy, and it seems that life in Bayern Munich isn't what he expected it to be. He left us, obviously, two years ago with a 50 million price tag. He wanted to go to Bayern Munich. He was injured for the last season at City, but we knew for that last season he didn't want to be there. He's waiting to get fit. He could get his move back to Germany, and we're going to talk about why he did that and is there potential for Leroy to come back to Manchester City. Now, do us a favor if you would and smash the like button. The support has been class recently. We passed 5K and the next big goal is 6K. You can make it happen, so subscribe if you're new too. Now, listen, Leroy Sané, obviously, like I said, he went to Bayern Munich and it never really happened the way I think he thought it would. I mean, I had a great conversation with Lewis over on City Extra on a stream yesterday about Leroy because there is increasing weird talks about whether Leroy Sané could return to Manchester City. Is this something City would do? He went to Germany, and I think he went there. I don't know whether it was him or his entourage or a combined combination of both. They believed that Leroy was going to become the face of German football. He needed to go back to Germany, back to Bayern, the German powerhouse, European pedigree. He needed to go there, become the main man there. He would become a global brand, you know, like Neymar or or, or Messi, or Ronaldo, whatever you want to call it, LS10. He got the number 10 shirt at Bayern, didn't he? I think he thought he was going to go back and be the guy at Germany and it just never happened obviously he was exceptional for City City fans will remember him so fondly I loved him I thought he was just electric to watch every time he took to the pitch you knew he was going to cause the opposite fullback serious problems and having a player like Leroy right now would be so different to what we have but we'll get into that so he goes to Germany he doesn't hit the ground running it never really takes off the way he'd like his profile didn't grow any more than he thought it would like I said I think he thought he was going to be a superstar and it just didn't happen I think had he stayed at City, he would have become a superstar. Could you imagine Leroy Sané in this team right now with Erling Haaland beside him? Maybe um, Foden on the right wing or Mahrez on the right wing. It would offer us such a different dynamic. I think uh, the growing question is, are City missing a pacey winger? And I believe we are. I believe we're too predictable. I believe there's, it's too similar. It's too easy to telegraph what's happening on our wings even though both our wingers and Jack Grealish and Mahrez are absolutely killing it since the return of the World Cup you only have to look at their stats and even performances as well we could do with that other option that plan B that slightly more route one football you know when you can't break a team down by cutting in and you know being technically good around them and intricate passing and plays go route one lob a ball over the top to Leroy Sané and let him stick a ball across to Haaland and Sané gets goals too I genuinely believe that Sané regrets leaving Manchester City. I really believe that. Now, why do I think this could happen? Sané, Leroy Sané, he spent his Christmas in Manchester this year. Am I am I reading into that too much? I don't know, maybe. Obviously, he had a house in Manchester when he was a part of City. He never sold the house. His wife, who I thought originally was Mank, and maybe that's possibly why he'd spent Christmas in Manchester... Might make sense. No, it turns out she's American. Leroy Sané's wife is is American, and she loves Manchester City. Even through the whole period he's been at Bayern Munich since leaving City, she has constantly been posting love and showing affection towards the City fans and wishing City's team to do well in, in all competitions. Strange behavior, if you ask me, for when your husband now plays for Bayern Munich, who are genuinely direct competitors for the Champions League of Manchester City for you to be wishing City well. There's clearly a massive affection in the Sané family for Manchester City Football Club and I genuinely want to go over what I said again. I believe he regrets leaving. Spending Christmas in Manchester, it's a bit bizarre. It's a bit bizarre. He's German, she's American. Why would they come to Manchester? Why do they still have the house in Manchester? It's a bit weird. We know he was at a game in the Christmas period. It might have been the Everton game, excuse me if I'm wrong on that, but we know for a fact he was at a City game. And he was sitting in one of the executive boxes. He had to have been invited by someone or else asked, could he come along? And then there's contact made. I've been told that he was at the Wolves game of the weekend. We know for a fact he was in Manchester for that or for that weekend. And I was told anyway that he was at the Wolves game invited by Manchester City. So there's contact there. There's connection there. Is there truth to Sané wanting to come back to Manchester City? Is he spending this time in Manchester as a come and get me, an SOS, a cry for help? I want to come back. How much would it cost to get Leroy Sané back to Manchester City I mean I have his um, transfer marked up here and it says he's worth about 70 million euros so you're looking at what 
60 to 65 million pounds. We sold him for 50, so we'd have to pay about 15 more than what we sold him for. His stats in, in all competitions this year aren't fantastic by Leroy Sané standards, or at least by what you think he'd be at right now. You know, when you project his future or what you, th- you thought he would be at by now. In all competitions, 20 appearances and 10 goals, you know, um, four of them being in the Champions League, five in the Bundesliga, and one in the DFL Super Cup. I think Sané thought by this stage of his career, by going to Bayern Munich, he would be, you know, one of Europe's top scorers, one of Europe's elite. There's no denying that Leroy Sané is a top, top player. I just think he really hindered himself by making this move. He was developing so nicely under Pep in Manchester City. He 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 was loved by the fans. I mean, he had his off days. He was frustrating at times. He The way he is as a person and his body language at times can look a little bit disinterested. But there's no denying the guy was absolutely electric and he was a joy to watch when he was on form. And he was on form more often than not, at least as far as I'm concerned. So you think about it, you bring him into this current City team, is it worth it? Is it worth it from from a City perspective? I know we're interested in Rafael Leao as well. There's talk of Cancelo moving, maybe could we, uh, to AC Milan, could we sell Cancelo to AC Milan and, and take and a bit of cash and take Leao? I'm going to do a Cancelo video too, so keep your eyes out for that. There's a lot of news regarding him. But as far as uh, Leroy Sané goes, is it worth our time going back in for him? I mean, he's not old by any means. There's still plenty of time left in him. Um He's born in 1996, so he's 27 years old. He's not old. He's basically in his prime, and he's got another good few years left in his prime. I think all this time spent in Manchester, and uh, you know, if you look at, if you go onto his Twitter, if you're a Twitter user, go onto all his most recently liked posts. A huge amount of them are all Manchester City posted. He's liking more City stuff than he is Bayern Munich stuff, and he's contracted with Bayern Munich. I would love to see Leroy back at Manchester City. I I, I really would fear for Premier League defenses with a league. Leroy working with Haaland, Leroy working with Julian Alvarez, Foden, Grealish, you got Mares there. He's a different dynamic. He's a more explosive, uh, aggressive runner, even though when he runs, it looks like he's just gliding along the surface effortlessly. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. Should we go back in for Leroy? Is it worth our while for about 65 million is saying? I'm not sure how long is left on his contract. I can't get that information for some reason. But I would like it personally. And I think it would be, he would absolutely bang. I think he wants to come back. That's my good feeling. You know how good he was for City. So listen, let me know your thoughts all down below in the comments on Leroy Sané. Do you think he regrets leaving Manchester City? Would you like to get him back? Do you think he would he would be a success in this current Manchester City team? Is he something we need? And of course, do smash the like button if you would. It really does help. And subscribe to the channel on our new road to 6,000 subscribers. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let's